Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. No rules and regulations, no lab, and no tracking system. To put it bluntly, Guam is far from implementing medicinal marijuana. It isn't as easy as you think it was going to be because we have to make sure it's safe, right? So we have to make sure the product is safe before people can use them. You know, we would like them to use it, but we want, them, we want it safe. This is where the Medicinal Marijuana Commission comes in. KUAM was there during their first meeting on Monday. It was held after reaching a quorum of six members, which included Chief Public Health Officer Dr. Suzanne Keneshiro. The consensus today put out a request for information for a tracking system, a means to control the product from start to finish. Oh, we're still looking for a, for a tracking system for the marijuana products. So we need to track it from the time it's grown to the time it's dispensed, so you follow it. Another issue is quality assurance. As of today, no one has expressed interest in opening a lab to test the products. The lab has to test the product in every stage. So a cultivator has to have their product tested by the lab. Then a manufacturer has to get tested by the lab. And then the dispensary also has to be tested by the lab. So in every stage, it has to be lab tested. So you can't, so you can't grow it and then, and then go on to manufacture without being tested first. Already going up in smoke, 150 pages worth of rules and regulations drafted by the Department of Public Health. What happened was that they, the, the department was working on the rules and regs, and so they, it took over a year to do it. So when they gave it to legis, it was rejected. Right. So they had to start all over again with the rules and regs. Health and Human Services Committee Chair Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. sits on the commission as well. He remains optimistic on the implementation of medicinal marijuana in Guam, stating that, quote, with the guidance of this commission, those in need of it will have access sooner rather than later, end quote. We should note marijuana is still illegal in Guam. It remains a Schedule I drug under the Controlled Substance Act. If you would like more information on medicinal marijuana, call 735-7297. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.